Hello, my name is Taylor McMullen, and this will be a quick video on how to uninstall DM extensions. Unfortunately, once in a while, an in installation of DM extensions does not go the way that we planned it to, or some files will get corrupted over time, and in order to resolve the issue, we just need to uninstall DM extensions and reinstall it fresh. As you can see here, I've got an icon on my desktop, and as I click it and go to try to open it, nothing happens and it's an indication of a bad installation. So to make sure that I completely remove every component of DM from the workstation and start over nice and fresh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is uninstall the current version from inside of the control panel. This should only take a few moments. As you can see we've now removed DM extensions from the control panel. However, there's a few things we're going to want to do to make sure that all of the components get removed properly. First thing we'll want to do is navigate to the C drive, and the default installation path is under Program Files x86 and underneath Open Text. You may or may not see a folder called DM Extensions here. If you do see a folder called DM Extensions, go ahead and highlight it and delete it. Next, where we'll want to go is into the Users Roaming folder. Uh, you can get there by going to a computer, C drive, users, username, their app data folder, and then underneath roaming, and you'll see that there's a folder here called open text. We'll come here, and we'll delete this DM folder here as well. If you happen to have multiple users listed, you'd want to go in under each user. This user is the only account that happens to be a, a DM valid user, so that's the only one I need to do here. However, again, if you have multiple users that use the workstation, you'll want to go into each user's profile and delete that folder. After we've made sure that all the files are manually removed, we will want to come into the registry. And the first thing we'll want to check is under H key current user, software, hummingbird. You'll notice there's a few entries remaining here. We'll just delete those. For the sake of uh, safety, you may want to make a backup of those before you delete them. However, since we're uninstalling everything anyway and those will be restored, it is not as critical as in some other instances. You'll want to check under HK Local Machine software. There's no Hummingbird here, but under the WoW 6432 node, because I have a 64-bit operating system, I'll want to check here. You'll see that there's a Hummingbird node here as well, and I will delete that. Now that I've gone through and manually cleaned out all of the files that have been installed that may have not been uninstalled properly and all the registry entries that were left behind, I'm going to go through and run a registry cleaner. I prefer CCleaner. There is a number of other registry cleaners out there. You can use whichever one you are familiar with. And I'd like to run it, let it scan everything. Sometimes can take a moment or two and it does occasionally require multiple scans to fix all of the problems. But I'll go ahead and fix selected issues. Do you want to make a backup to the registry? You should probably say yes to this. I'm going to say no because this is a test environment and I don't really mind if anything gets lost. Now fix all issues. I'll run that scan again. No issues were found. As I said, you may need to run it two or three times and fix issues in order to resolve everything. After you've gone through, you've deleted the files from underneath the uh, installation folder, you've deleted any f files underneath the user's profile folder, you've cleaned out the registry, the last thing to do is come in and restart the machine. After the machine's restarted, this icon should no longer appear and the machine should be ready to go for a brand new fresh installation. Now as you can see, after a restart, the icon has disappeared. Our machine has now been reset and is ready for a new fresh installation of DM extensions. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please feel free to leave notes in the comment section below. Thank you.